Doctors say an alarming trend has been born out of the pandemic. More and more women, especially young women, drinking heavily. A new study found 41% of women drank more in 2020 than in 2019. And in some cases, it cost them their life. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports. This is what a healthy liver looks like. And this is a woman's diseased liver. It's kind of the difference between looking at a flat surface of jello and the difference between looking at the surface of oatmeal. So General surgeon Dr. Stavros Christudius works in the ER of several New Jersey hospitals. It looks like a grenade went off on this liver. He says the youngest patient he had seen with end-stage liver disease prior to this past year was about 45 to 50 years old, but now... I've got 20-year-olds, 20-year-olds that we lost, didn't get a new liver in time. Recently, a 26-year-old female patient died. She turned jaundice. Um, she got that very, very almost glow in the dark yellow. She was no longer coherent, um, very confused. My current service has two 19 year olds on it today. And, um, you know, probably three people in their 20s and early 30s. Hepatologist Dr. Nancy Rose says those young patients are a mix of male and female, but. We already were seeing an increase in alcoholic hepatitis and alcohol related liver disease in women, uh, you know, pre pandemic. It was just. You know, exacerbated by the pandemic. There are moms bringing wine to, to games in, you know, water bottles. 52 year old Maureen, a working mother, has been in recovery since before the pandemic. She says, in addition to being surrounded by alcohol at business dinners and during trips, there's been an online push aimed at women over the years. For example, cups advertising wine as mommy juice. It's definitely promoted in a way that makes people feel like this is a good coping mechanism. They're expected to always be on. They're never given a break. Licensed New Jersey social worker and psychotherapist Richard Ross says some of his female patients took on even more during the pandemic between children and schooling, work, relationships, and the household. It started with depression and anxiety, and instead of treating it with um, other care, they they tried to sedate themselves with alcohol and drugs. He also points to accessibility. Liquor stores were deemed essential businesses. Alcohol laws were relaxed. You can get uh, vodka easier than you can get toilet paper. You bring up something interesting, those Zoom parties, right? People were having Zoom happy hours. So the party did not stop. Especially when people didn't have to worry about things like driving. Dr. Indra Sadami is medical director and founder of Center for Network Therapy in New Jersey and notes women's bodies are more sensitive to alcohol. The alcohol stays in your system for a longer period of time, so the damage is worse than um, a man. Isolation, grief, and uncertainty pushed many to the brink. I don't think it's just going to be COVID vaccine better. I think there's going to be this second wave of um, addiction and mental health counseling we're going to have to fix to be able to get beyond that. Doctors say if you or someone you know may have a problem, the earlier you call for help, the better chance you have to turn things around. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism defines heavy drinking for women as more than three drinks on any day or more than seven drinks a week. If you have any concerns, talk to your doctor.